back to the vlog. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the Mouth Muscle. And in today's vlog or this week's vlog, I'm gonna be taking you guys along for another pregnancy workout. I'm currently 36 weeks. We got four weeks to go. And what's gonna make this workout just a hair bit different here in California, the mask mandate was finally lifted. It has been 15 months of hibernation here in California and everybody here is just ready to get things back to normal as much as possible as back to what normal looks like nowadays but i finally get to work out without a mask on and i am so excited this has been so difficult not only working out being pregnant but having to work out with a mask on is just awful but take you guys along for a workout today and then whatever else we have planned throughout the week but yeah we'll see you guys at the gym peace Welcome back to the vlog. We are at my mom's house currently. She's on vacation for the day, so Ryder and I are on milking duty. You guys haven't seen the babies in a while. Right? can you hold this? So we're gonna set this up. We have hungry babies. Here they are. <laughs> you think it's feed time? Hey, get your tush out of there. Oh no. Okay, right, help me out. <laughs> Hold, good job, baby. She's difficult with one hand. Good job, Ryder. Feeding the babies. The little tails. Here, lift it up. Hold it, hold it. I got you. Okay. Good girl. So this is gonna be kind of the last time. So this little boy is gonna actually going to my friend Tiffany's house, I think in two weeks, and then Hazel, the little girl, is actually staying here. So we've gotten big, huh? What do you think, baby? Okay. So off to our next stop. <laughs> the fact that she can still grab them too is very impressive. What are you being silly? Okay, I'm doing a quick update for those that are following this backyard progression. So the fire pit wall was formed a couple days ago and it's set. Now these black posts that you guys see, this is going to be the form of a bench. We're doing it in like a really beautiful wood. So that is done. Have the fire pit in. Here is this side. Latest on the garden, we have a ton of squirrels getting in, you guys. I'm talking a ton of squirrels. So unfortunately, I'm having to cover some of these items that they are eating. 
um, but everything all the sweet peas strawberries everything they're starting to, they're starting to get the tomatoes so we're doing our best to kind of nip this in the bud now but I am having to cover some of the things that they're enjoying snacking on so an update I just got this little protective container just this afternoon from Amazon but it's a way to help protect the caterpillars from getting eaten from birds so I only have a couple of caterpillars left in here that haven't already taken off to form the chrysalises but I have noticed a bunch of them walking along like the fencing trying to find an area to um, do their chrysalis but you guys notice I've got a couple underneath the uh, bench here already starting to form so it's gonna be really fun for Miss Ryder and I to kind of watch that whole process so this is the backyard the side yard here has been planted, very simple. They put the lighting in and then take you guys up to the front. So we finally planted the front here. They put some lighting in. We have a walkway with stairs. So this side of the yard has not been completed. We decided we're gonna do grass up here instead of it being a DG, just because we have so much dirt everywhere that I felt like it was gonna be really just blah. So here's the front. So I went with kind of like an English theme with and succulents mixing like iceberg, lavender, rosemary, rock, and then I'll take you guys over there. So on this side, you can see we did the concrete here to extend the pad for parking. And then they're going to be doing an automated gate here where the porter potty is for calling to back a truck behind there. And then we worked then we worked on this side of the yard this past weekend. So just again bringing in more mulch and bark, iceberg roses, rosemary, a little bit of like succulents, these are agaves, another little olive bush, and some different plants, but really excited to see things that are coming along. So this side is done, and then for this side, sorry for the lighting, they are waiting on sod, I believe sod is going in on Friday, and then we are actually doing a retaining wall down here, so we are actually just waiting on the stone for that. And then we're gonna plant down here so there's a little bit of a break just because we are on a hillside so yeah coming together and then paint of the house will be the next thing to tackle good morning youtube it is tuesday morning and i just came outside to check my caterpillars and we have a chrysalis that is underneath the table so i'm going to show you guys how i remove it carefully and then i'm going to be bringing them inside i found two yesterday that i have brought inside as well so that way Ryder and I can enjoy this process. Everybody, I posted it on my Instagram and everybody's like, oh my gosh, that's so gross, why are you touching it? I'm like, this is like the coolest, if you guys can ever experience watching a butterfly hatch, it really is like the most amazing thing ever. So I'm gonna show you guys how I remove this and then we'll bring it inside. Little pointed tweezers there and then I have some scotch tape. You have to do it very, very carefully. And unfortunately he has, or she has, herself in a very kind of awkward spot so I'm gonna try to do this for you guys okay so there is the chrysalis right there just gonna take my handy dandy tweezers here and so they actually form their chrysalis with a thread and there you go so easy so they have a thread that they use to help stick themselves at the top there is the chrysalis and then i'm just going to take some scotch tape here pretty magnificent you guys and then if you guys also didn't know the little gold that is around the chrysalis of a monarch is actually how they breathe their breathing holes so then on that thread you can almost just like kind of ball it up a little bit and then we're going to take tape right at the top anybody else find this type of stuff fascinating Ryder is so into it too, she loves it. And it's kind of cool that she can watch this whole process happen. Like she's, she knows the whole process of a caterpillar turns into a chrysalis, a chrysalis turns into a butterfly. So she totally understands it, it's pretty cool. 
So there we have it. We have the chrysalis there and I'm gonna transfer it inside. So I'll take you guys inside. All right, Miss Ryder's watching her tunes. Here are the other two that I've already grabbed. So now I'm just gonna tape them in the box and there we have it. That one's not as pretty, but my little chrysalis box and then I'm going to date them so I know roughly when they are going to hatch. So that is it. I will keep you guys posted on my butterflies. We are very excited about this. Ryder is very excited about this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to close the vlog out here. I hope you guys have an amazing week and we will see you guys on my next vlog. Peace.